Hi, my name's Ross. I'm the gardener here on the Penhouse Estate. I've been here about five years or so now, and I'm going to show you around. So parts of the house date back to 1536. Uh, there's a lot of history here, both in the house and in the garden. We're at the front of the house here. The garden here is dominated by some specimen trees, most notably the Wellingtonias. We have the Aces, which are specimens and give some lovely colour. And moving down past the Acer, there is an avenue of trees that lead you on to a urn and a seat and an obelisk which William Pope had commissioned in memory of his mother between 1733 and 1744. So last year and this year I've started working on this border along the edge of the green outside the house. The Arigarons is taking off and self-setting really well and we've got some uh, Verbena lollipop and Verbena rigida which is really adding some colour. And here at the side of the house we've got this lovely lavender walk framed by edged by box and it's just coming into really full flower just now. And this builder here, what we're really trying to do is highlight the lovely uh, brick wall and the age and its real antiquity. So what we've tried to do is plant the steeper gigantia to highlight and get the pops of the verbena. You can see the helleniums are just coming into bloom now and the sedums that you can see down the middle will carry it through until the autumn. And here we've got one of the flower beds that's really coming into its own at this time of year with the delphiniums and the alliums still in view and the helleniums coming into colour and the penstemons and the bees are loving it. And here we are at the back of the house at the Rose Garden and what used to be the old driveway that used to go across to Winchmore Hill. One of the quirks of the garden here at Penn House is the dog cemetery where we've got various graves of much loved pets going back to the First World War and some even earlier. And here we are in the walled kitchen garden. We've now left areas of it for nature and we've left it for the insects. I've planted lots of teasel here behind me. I've made a bug hotel that I've put in and we've got various wildflowers. Over to the other side we've got the polytunnel and the greenhouse where we grow lettuces and various courgettes and various other things. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Penn House. Um, please donate to Rennie Grove and thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you again.